my name is Oladayo Olade and welcome to my oh shoot okay hello my name is Oladayo Olade and welcome back to my channel yay um so as you see by the description of the video I'm going to talk about Rutgers University Newark yay <laughs> without further ado let's get into the video because I don't feel like babbling right now step one so you go to admissions.ruckers.edu and then you press apply and then you sign up for the application. And the application consists of the So it consists of the personal information, enrollment information, background information, educational history, activities and experiences, the essay, and review and submit. So for the personal information, you just put in all your personal information, not all of it, but all your personal information ranging from your name, your birthday, um, maybe social security, I don't remember, probably social security, and just all that jazz. Go through the application, you are going to apply to all, hopefully all three campuses just to you know increase your chances of getting in. I applied to Newark, New Brunswick, and Camden. I applied for video production in the Newark campus, undecided for the New Brunswick campus, and undecided for Camden campus. Um, yeah, so that's just one thing that I would say that you should do. Step two. So step two is the essay. Now I know essay writing is stressful but this time around, it was pretty easy. Uh, I'm pretty sure you have to write, if I'm not mistaken, I think I wrote two essays. But I am going to read out what question I got from Rutgers University, Newark. Rutgers requires that you provide a short essay that is your original work. Please, <laughs> please reflect on what you consider to be an important personal experience related to your talents, interests, and commitments. Using this experience, please tell us what you've learned about yourself. How will this experience prepare you for success at Rutgers? That's easy, isn't it? The rate of difficulty would probably be a 46%. Factors including lack of determination, lack of motivation, and engaging in procrastination. So I'm pretty sure it's, yeah, it's a 46% difficulty. So the essay has a 3,800 character limit, and I don't understand how Rutgers does that. Like, what, how many words is that? Like, right? So I looked up how many words that is, and it's 500. So you're welcome. You're welcome. After you do the essay, you are almost done. All you have to do is review and submit, girl and boy. So review and submit, that is step three. Good? Okay. So, step three is review and submit. Please double check your work. Please do it. Because once you press the submit button, there's no going back. Okay? So please, just review it. And check it. And submit it. And you're almost done! The application fee, steep fee, is $70. <laughs> It's not like I've already paid for tuition as is, right? I don't understand how why colleges do that. Why can't I just send the application in? Why? I will tell you that that's pretty, it's pretty cheap compared to how many colleges I applied for and how many, how much money I had to spend applying for those colleges just to apply. And what if I don't get in? Then what? Can I get my money back? Okay, you know what? We're good. I'm. I'm getting off topic. So yeah, step four is just to look at the status page that it will redirect you after you submit. So you just look at that status page, wait, and pray, and hope. Because I did. Step five is to go on Google, type in self-reported academic record, Rutgers, and then it will send you to a website 
where you can just put in your username and password for the application that you just submitted using your unofficial transcript just record what classes you've taken what you got in those classes and then you just submit it to Rutgers step six so step six is to turn in your transcript now I'm not saying that I almost forgot this step but I almost forgot this step. So please y'all turn in the transcript to the university. Now what I did was my high school, my petty high school made us pay $10 to send it over to Rutgers University. And I, I don't know if that's different from you guys, but if it's free, you're lucky. So yeah, I sent in my official transcript in, not unofficial, official because apparently that's different. And there you go. And then you are on your way to Rutgers University, Newark. Yay! Um, I will say that the application process is the same for all three campuses. Even though Rutgers University campuses are different across the board, the application process stays the same. For your essay, I would get either a tutor or your teacher to look at it because I got a tutor and my teacher to look at it because you know I'm not that good at writing so I need I need some type of support all right please be organized with this application because you could find yourself just forgetting about it and that's not cool that's not Good. Just be organized, please, with these application dates because they are killer. They be creeping up on you and you don't even know. You don't even know. You think that you got two two weeks to do it, but two weeks flies by like, like Girl Scout cookies on a Sunday, right? Please send your official transcript in properly because I almost forgot that step. And you can't be forgetting these steps like that, right? So yeah, so if you like this video, please like, please subscribe. If you are applying to Rutgers, New Brunswick and Rutgers, Newark, um, I wish you the best of luck and I'll catch you later. Bye. If you come to Rutgers, you get a lot of free stuff like this t-shirt and this cup. <laughs> wish tuition came with it. <laughs> this one is not mine. <sighs> and I don't know whose it is. <laughs> I really don't know who this is, but...